Hello Taurus, welcome to your You Versus Them reading for July. Please only take what resonates, makes sense, and fits however it does for you. And of course, what you're willing to accept from this reading. Uh, if you're new, welcome to the channel. So glad that you found the channel. Please subscribe. You guys, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, Taurus, let's start with you and then I'll go into your person side. So let's see. We have the King of Swords here. Okay, this is your side. So, King of Swords, Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands, Three of Swords. Okay. A lot of you may feel very burdened here when it comes to a relationship. A lot of you are separated from your person due to certain things that just happened uh, too stressful, too much. You guys might also feel like your person uh, was very manipulative with things that they were saying. This person could have been just focused on going out, having a good time, you know, just causing more stress, stress to your energy. Uh, carrying again too much weight here Taurus it's a lot of pain a lot of separation you also have the four of swords on the bottom here I think a lot of you made a decision to move on to move forward uh, to try to heal from what's happened with you and this person let's see let's go to your person I feel like this person could be, yeah, very manipulative. Let's see. Three of Wands. This person is waiting for something to happen, Taurus. This person is waiting for something to come in, something to happen here. Ah, okay. It could be to connect here. It could be to uh, dig up into those passionate feelings the connection that you two once had oh okay six of cups here this person may feel like your connection isn't as strong as it used to be so this person might try to use sex here to kind of pull you back in to bring in some changes here person has a lot going on too a lot of unhealthy habits unhealthy ways this person wants things to change between you two they don't like where things are at it's not peaceful it's not happy more here I'm gonna stay on your person side let's see five of cups yeah this person feels like they're losing the connection with you okay they're losing their their tie um, their, their, their hold on you, if you will. Yeah. This person doesn't want to lose that. Uh, this person is going to try to tell you that they're going to change certain things because they want to have that happiness with you. This person may feel also that you're being very independent. And this is why I think they're feeling like certain things have shifted or changed when it's come to, um, how connected you two were, how social you two were, uh, how close you two were. It's like you were always there. They always had this string. They always had this tie, uh, to this connection here and they're feeling a loss they're feeling a loss here you might even be 
not trying to, uh, you know, take it to that level with this person, you know, on a sexual level, just kind of distancing yourself or separated because of everything that you've been through here. Let's see. Let's go back to you. The world. Okay. The high priestess here. Yeah, you are definitely taking a break. Okay, a lot of you are just not feeling it, taking a break from this person, not wanting to deal uh, with everything that comes with dealing with this kind of person. Taurus, you've had enough. It's been very stressful. There's been a lot of secrets. All right, a lot of secrets kept here. This person has certain obsessions. Um, this person use, uses passion and desire as a way to keep hold of certain things that they want, especially people that they want in their life whenever they want them. I feel like this is a time where you're focused on moving forward. Even if it is stressful, even if you are healing, uh, moving forward and just taking time for you, I feel is really important. Uh, I feel like a lot of you have ended things with this person because of things that you found out here. There were things that you looked into, things you saw, again, things you found out. Let's see. Knight of Swords, Temperance, okay, Taurus, this person is thinking about trying to make certain things happen quick here. They don't want things to be too quiet, too still, too disconnected. Their whole purpose is to try to keep a hold. They're going to try to bring you two together here. Okay, all about the happiness, all about we're a family, all about we need to be together. But really, this person is a juggler. OK, this person might be dealing with someone else. You might have found out they were with someone else or dealing with someone else here. I feel like things are also always very up and down with this person. Uh, so, yeah, this person is thinking about you, thinking about you healing and how they're going to. Almost like take their time to try to finesse this connection and balance what they're juggling here. This is what they're thinking about. What's mine is mine. Can't let it get away. Let's see. King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are not wanting to deal with someone who just likes to do and collect people, collect uh, situations of desire, sex. You're moving on. This person was not fair to you, wasn't kind to you. Uh, this person always, again, was only in it for themselves. Very greedy, very narcissistic, very self-centered here. And deep in your mind, you know this. You feel this. You know this. You've seen it. You've, I mean, you've seen it multiple times here. There's been a lot that has happened here. A lot of burden. I also feel like this person liked to put everything on you. All right. Now that could be anything. That could be what you needed to do in the relationship, things that they wanted you to do for them, whatever it may be. This person put a lot on you. This person liked to have it all. And you know this in your mind. And that's why they're over here really trying to be careful and take time with a plan to come in, switch it up, Throw things up in the air again to where there's a need to balance. There's a need to juggle. They like that. I think it gives them a sense of control. You might also be thinking that things feel very hung up in the air when it comes to this person, Taurus. Let's see. King of Cups, the Moon, Queen of Swords. Okay. Hmm. 
Taurus, I feel like a lot of you guys feel like your person can be very loving, can be a good listener, okay? Uh, a lot of you may feel like you've put a lot of your confidence in this person, like, you know, you relied on them for certain things. But again, this person kept so many secrets here, okay? And for some of you, the type of family, the type of relationship that they told you it would be, it didn't end up being that way. This person had a lot of things that they kept within and that you slowly started to see over time. Uh, this person can be very bossy, very controlling, uh, very good with their words when it comes to getting what they want. This person is very smug. I think you feel like you know this person likes the best. They want to have whatever it is that they want and desire. Let's see. Let's see what this person thinks about you. person might also be trying to tell you that you need to release what happened in the past so the two of you can move forward let's see ten of pentacles okay the tower and the hermit so this person knows that you value family this person knows that you uh you're someone that they either talked about having a family with, you guys were living together in that kind of way. But again, it all came crashing down with this tower here. This person knows that they were exposed. This person knows they did a lot. This person knows that you found out a lot. This person feels like you always find out what they're doing, what's happening. <laughs> Things are trying to hide from you. Uh, this person thinks you are all about family. You'd be good at, you know, you take care of what's yours. But again, it's their issues, their lies, their illusions is what caught up to them. And they think about this, but they think you always, it's like you always expose them, what they have going on. Uh, yeah, causing conflict here. This person may feel like it's always an argument here with you. <laughs> but again, that's because you always find out what's going on here. This person may also feel like you're in a period of transitioning, like you're moving forward, moving on, finding your way. Let's see. The full. Mm. Nine of Cups and the Sun here. Two of Cups at the bottom. Uh, I feel like for a lot of you, this is a very hard connection to kick. I feel like a lot of you may have tried, but I feel like the two of you are kind of going to have this moment where you speak and want to try to have a new start here. There's this energy of moving forward. Perhaps you've tried to move forward many times because you both felt like or spoke uh, about this being where you wanted to be. You have everything I want. You make me happy. Fulfillment, right? Feeling good and always moving forward here. But in doing so, someone always might end up feeling foolish because they've taken that chance to move forward, thinking that this situation was going to be where their happiness is. Because again, there's a deep connection here. Soulmate energy, very tied very connected, coming together. But again, there's a lack of truth. There's a lack of balance here, Taurus, and it always leads to disappointment. It always leads to disappointment with this person, no matter how many times you try to have a new start, a new beginning and move forward. Let's get more, one more.
Yeah, I feel like what's important to realize here is that with this person, they may seem focused and dedicated in moments, but then at times it's quick to go right back, just like that in a snap to this. The relationship being all over the place. Too crazy, too up and down. Too much arguing. Communication is all over the place here. Lack of truth, lack of clarity. It's even hard sometimes I feel to communicate with this person, Taurus. Because this person doesn't like to be exposed. This person does a lot. Focusing on truth and clarity for yourself and moving forward and avoiding drama is what's really important. If there's someone here who isn't putting in time and being very sneaky when it comes to third parties, when it comes to doing their thing, when it comes to being out and having fun, I feel like it's just always going to be drama with this person. So let's see. Let's get two here. Surrender brings us together faster than resistance. So this may be a connection to where you two are always pulled back together. You guys try to fight it. Okay, there's energy here of knowing what this is, what it's going to be. But again, there's, it's, it's just so intense. Being mirrors for each other makes self-love so important. I wish I was there to love you, but if not... I want you to nurture yourself. Self-love is very important here. Someone needs to nurture themselves. Just continue to be focused and dedicated on whatever is going to make you happy. Uh, yourself. Make yourself happy. Yeah. All right, let's see. Retreat. Disconnect from the outer world a bit in order to sort out how you feel about a situation or a person. This is the time to make time for yourself now. This will help you gain more clarity, Taurus. Okay, let's look at the bottom here. Chemistry. There's a mutual attraction between you and this person. Sexual attraction. Passion are very, very strong. I do feel like this person knows how to use that too. Both of you are attracted to each other like magnets. Okay. Let's see. chemistry twice there's a strong magnetic attraction here this is definitely one of those connections that's very hard to kick even if you're not really messing with this person it's very hard to completely let it go it's like you guys stay in each other's lives in any way that you can just to be there chemistry chemistry on the bottom reconciliation someone from your past wants to return okay that's that pull hard to let go hard to walk away let's see Okay, here we go. 
arrival. Love may be just around the corner. That's definitely your side. Now let's look here. Happy couples. Couples. Did I say couples? Wow. Happy couples must understand each other. There's a lack of understanding here. Lack of clarity here. It's hard to balance. It's hard to maintain. It's hard to get on the same page. Needing to understand each other. There's a lot of disagreements here. A lot of conflict as well. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else we get here. Okay, here's the two that fell out. So we have lust. You know what side I'm putting this on? Very lustful energy. Person who likes to use their lust, their sexual energy, their talents to pull someone back in to keep control. There's definitely consequences here. Consequences from things that were done. Also time apart, needing time apart will help you get the clarity that you need when dealing with this person and situation, Taurus. But yeah, there's a lot here that's been done. A lot this person, I feel, has done. And it's caused a lot. It's caused a lot of damage here, a lot of hurt here. Let's see. Let's get some messages here. I pretend I'm okay, but I'm not. Someone's playing it cool. Very hurt. When you talk to this person, keep your cool. Try to be cordial. But you know how you feel within. Uh oh, okay, there's two. All right. I think about the times we were intimate. Okay, a lot of reminiscing here. I just need some space, needing time apart. Definitely needing time apart here. I wish I could take back what I did. All right, let's see. Let's go to this person now. Let's see the messages we get here. I want to fight for you. A lot of them could be saying, I want to fight for this. I want to fight for you. They're not ready to let go. I suffer with anxiety. I feel like this person's emotions are very up and down, Taurus. Why are you ignoring me? Why are you not speaking to me? Why do you need time apart? Uh, this is what they don't want. Too much separation, too much quietness here. Okay, that one here. I'm not ready for commitment yet. So this person is still uh, not ready to fully commit. Okay. Let's stay with your person. Let's see. Let's get more here. This person doesn't like when they don't talk to you a lot, when they don't 
know what's going on. This person can be very controlling, Taurus. I'm working up the courage to contact you. There is something I'm hiding from you. This is going back to the secrets here. What's this? I didn't mean what I said. This person might have said some really hurtful things to you. They might even tell you, I didn't mean that. Let's go to you. I get emotional when I think about you. You are still going through the motions here when it's about this person, when you think about this person. For those of you who even separated, taking your time, there's still a lot uh, that you think about. And when you do, you know, it, it really, um, you know, you really feel it, Taurus. Okay. You are the first person to make me feel this way. I am filled with regret. I run away to avoid facing my problems here. Okay. So there's a lot that you're trying to sort out with space. Okay. And time, Taurus. Now let's see. Let's stay with you. I feel like it's important too for a lot of you to use your um, use your head when it comes to this person because I feel like there's so much passion here, desire here, history here, uh, deep connection here. There's a lot that's been going on between the two of you. I feel like it's really important to really stay in tune with that King of Swords energy. Be very, very practical, very, very smart here and careful. Uh, let's see. There is so much I want to tell you secrets and deception there's been a lot of that a lot of secrets you finding out you exposing this person blowing their tower right up i am intimidated by you I do you feel like this person can you know they can get really intense uh, they have a mean streak when it comes to how they use their words let's see I feel terrible for hurting you. Long distance. They definitely feel separated from you. This person might feel bad for what they said here. This was just a fling. They could have just told you it was just a fling. This person didn't mean anything. You're my family. You're the one I want to be with. Okay. The most important thing to know with your side, Taurus, with that King of Swords, uh, is to realize that you are very strong and you have the power uh, to uh, cut out whatever is not going to make you happy, whatever continues to, uh, you know, again, hurt you. And this isn't what you deserve. You deserve so much better. Very smart, very strong energy truly a pillar of strength and you are even if you don't feel that way now and this person knows it it's important for you to know it let's see i'm trying to balance head and heart use your head use your heart you know where i'm going with this one use your head use your heart you are very smart you are very strong Sometimes I miss you so much, it physically hurts. There's that connection. There's that tie. There's those strings. It's that chemistry. It's the history. Let's see here. I know more than you think I know about you and your situation. You know a lot about what's going on with this person and what, they, what they're doing or what they've been doing, whether they realize it or not. Always exposing what's going on on their side. Taurus, very smart. Very strong. Pillar of strength. Okay. Let's 
let's see here. A boundary is not a barrier. The way you treated me hurt me. A healthy boundary was a necessity. Self-respect. I feel like you don't care. Cold-hearted. This person may be saying that now. Because you, being the pillar of strength, all right, that king of swords energy here on your side. This person might be a little fearful with you, all right, uh, building up uh, your own self-respect, self-love, self-care, all right, this is that barrier for them. So if you put that up and you build that up with your time and your space, it's going to be harder for this person to break through. And this person's going, again, this person is, can be very manipulative, I feel. So they're going to be like, well, why are you being so cold hearted? Why are you being so hard to me? What did I do to you? I was always there for you. But it's because... Now you're building up your strength, seeing how strong you are. That's the healthy barrier. At times I understand, but it still hurts. Defense mechanism, protecting yourself from this kind of energy. Very important. Let's see. Let me go back to you now. I always see you in my dreams, okay? Some of you may dream about this person, have a lot of thoughts about this person. I will wait patiently for you to open up. I feel like your person here is also waiting. Uh, I love you. A lot of love for this person. A lot of history here. Your person is definitely waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to come in when it comes to you and them. Long distance here. They could be at a distance, be wanting to see you. We are soulmates. I do not want you to see my vulnerability. This person likes to be hard, tough. I'm not available. This person can be very unavailable here. And on the bottom, this connection is very intense. Okay, this connection is intense. Let's see. Pull two. Hard. Things are difficult now. You need space to sort out your feelings and what to do. Diamonds are very rough, very tough, and very beautiful, very strong. This is you. This is going on your side. Taking the space and time you need to protect yourself, even through difficult times, because I still want to drill that you are a pillar of strength. Sort out your feelings. You will know what to do. A beautiful diamond. Very hard. Very tough. Okay. Let's see. Crushed. You are hurting emotionally right now. You need time to heal before you jump in. Uh, I feel like this person is feeling crushed. Uh, this person feels like it's a little harder to uh, really go forward with their advances towards you. Taurus, it's crushing their plans. It's crushing what they feel that they can do. They're waiting, waiting for things to happen, waiting for things to come in. They're going to try though. Um, but yeah, this person is, it's like they're very crushed with certain barriers that you may be putting up. We have broken on the bottom. They didn't keep the promises they made. They may break your heart, but again, not your spirit. And why? Because you're the pillar of strength. Because you're the beautiful diamond. You are very hard. You are very tough, but beautiful. Just remember that. They may have broke your heart, but not your spirit. Okay. All right. Let's get three down the middle here. Let's see. Three down the middle. Taurus. Okay. One 
one more. Okay, here we go. Mirror. Reflection. Shared feelings. You. I think what's important here is to reflect. Really look within yourself and realize how smart you are. Realize that you can cut away at anything that you need to when it comes to something not being healthy for you and move forward and be happy stronger, wiser, okay, with what's going on here. Even when things are broken, they can heal and you can rebuild back stronger, Taurus. So that's really important. Second chance, making amends, opportunity. There's the plans. There's that open window. This person is waiting. This person wants to make plans. They're thinking, they're plotting. This person wants a chance here. Epiphany. Realizations, understanding, awakenings. And look how beautiful it is. Look at that rainbow. Beautiful new beginnings and opportunities here when you realize what you need to realize. But what I feel is important, because I feel like you know who this person is. I think the message is clearly you realizing who you are and what you are capable of. And even though things feel broken, hurtful, painful, however you may feel when you watch this video. Okay. There's a, an epiphany here of you realizing your strength and your beauty that leads to happiness, beauty, fully understanding. All right. We have misunderstood at the bottom, lost soul, victim, and mistakes. This is this person. This person may try to seem or make it, you know, play victim here. You don't understand me. You never understood me. But this is all victim because of the mistakes they made. How they didn't treat you right. How they didn't treat you fairly, right? But no, you're a beautiful diamond. Very tough. Your soul is not broken. Your heart can heal. What you need to rebuild, you can rebuild stronger. Your beautiful opportunities are only beginning. Okay. And that's what's important with this reading. So Taurus, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. You guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.